Hey guys, this is Alan. Today, I want to show you something called rest all in mirror effect. This one helps you to change a plane surface to mirror. This is available online, Walmart, and like different stores, okay? Make sure you buy mirror effect, rest all in mirror effect, okay? So this one, we're gonna apply different coatings and it will transform the plane surface to mirror. So let's check it out. So today, we're trying to make this um, clear surface to a convex mirror, okay? So we are planning to spray Rust-Oleum. This is called uh, Rust-Oleum mirror effect inside. So it will make this outside look like a mirror. For protection, it's better to use a glove and, sorry, too much windy, a mask, okay? Just to prevent any further like you know suffocation or anything so first we need to wipe and use a alcohol wiping to clean inside the surface so it won't make any you know the dust might gonna cause the final product some defects so in order to prevent those things it's better to use a alcohol wiping to clean inside this clear surface okay let's finish that and let's move to the next stage Okay, so I have the gloves and mask with me just to protect me. So before we use this Rust-Oleum mirror effect, we need to shake it pretty well. You guys can hear there's a ball inside. So if you didn't hear the sound of the ball, that means this ball is not good. So you need to call them or return and buy a new one, okay? So you need to shake pretty well before use. And this is how we are going to apply this. Uh, we're gonna spray this one time a thin coating then you need to wait one minute to dry let it dry then you're gonna apply five times to get the perfect mirror effect okay so let me shake this well then we're gonna start the next stage okay so we have the concave plane surface with us and we found the oil can trash can over here just to place it steady if you guys planning to spray on a plane glass or plane uh, surface then it's fine you can place on our ground but we have a good wind here so we will try to place this over this trash can to keep it steady okay so i'm gonna place it here like i said earlier we are planning to spray five times We're gonna wait one minute. So we're gonna put the second cord. Be careful not to spray too much. Now I spray too much and all the fluid accumulated on the center but still it's a concave. So let's try the second cording. So this is the third chord, okay, we waited like one minute in each cording, so this is the third chord. So I made a mistake first time, don't put it like this, always make sure the bottle is a little bit up straight so it will spray instead of pouring water, okay, sorry, pouring liquid. So we're gonna put it like this. We already finished five coating okay like i said make sure you shake pretty well when you use it after using one time give some rest like one minute let it dry then the second coating then like you know five or six coating which one you think is better like you know make sure like it look exactly like this i know it doesn't look like a mirror here right but the best part when you spray inside it's gonna look like this over here but it's gonna look a mirror on the other side so i bought this one like you know it was a big one like this and i cut into the shape that i wanted because i want a convex mirror so when i was looking online it was like 300 dollar like you know to buy a convex mirror this big so this one i spent like uh, 50 dollar to buy the big one then i gave it to a glass shop so i i, I draw the circle for them they cut it for me I bought the spray, Rosalia spray as you know, like you know, $7. So in total, it cost me like 
80 bucks to make this convex mirror so it's not only for the convex mirror if you have a plain surface spray it it's gonna be a mirror so you can save a lot and this one it doesn't give you that much shine because this one is a fiber it's not glass exactly so for my use i don't need a glass one so that's why i bought this so try this to make a plain surface to glass okay this is cheaper you don't need to know that much like i made few mistakes like i said you need to make sure the spray is upright or like at, at least like 30 40 degree angle don't don't you know when you spray make sure like you know the tip is at least higher than the bottom portion otherwise first time i drop few drops here so you make a line here but it doesn't shows over here a small but at the end it's look pretty nice to me so make sure guys please subscribe to my channel like i'm gonna try to make videos like this informative videos so please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you guys want any question you know just ask me okay so see you guys next time thank you